32-bit IPv4 addressing format, we can have 2 power 32 possible IP addresses. Among them, all those IP addresses which begin with 1110 are kept under class D. This class D consists of all the IP addresses which begin with 1110. And here there are no networks and hosts. The class D IP addresses are reserved for multicasting. Sending a message to one host within one network can be referred to as unicasting and sending a message to all the hosts within one network can be referred to as broadcasting and sending a message to a group of hosts within one network can be referred to as multicasting. Class D IP addresses are reserved for such multicast groups. And here there are no networks and hosts. So total how many class D IP addresses are possible? The first four bits are fixed to be 1110. With remaining 24 plus 4, with remaining 28 bit, there can be 2 power 28 possible combinations from all zeros to all ones. It means there are 2 power 28 possible class D IP addresses. Now given a class D IP address in binary format, how can we identify that it's a class D IP address? By examining the leading bits of the IP address. If the IP address begins with 1110, it means it's a class D IP address. Now given an IP address in dotted decimal format, how can we easily identify that it's a class D IP address? By examining the first octet of the IP address. In class D, the first octet ranges from 1110 followed by all zeros to 1110 followed by all ones. This is 128 plus 64 plus 32, 192 plus 32, 224. And this is 4 ones is 2 power 4 minus 1, 16 minus 1, 15. 224 plus 15 is 239. So the first chapter ranges from 224 to 239 in class D. Thus given an IP address, if its first chapter is within the range 224 to 239, it means it's a class D IP address. Next is class E. All the IP addresses which begin with 1111 are kept under class E. And class E IP addresses are reserved for experimental purposes. Thus here also there are no networks and hosts, so total how many class E IP addresses are possible? The first 4 bits are fixed to be 1111, with remaining 28 bits there can be 2 power 28 possible combination from all zeros to all 1, hence here also there are total 2 power 28 possible class E IP addresses. Now given an IP address, given a class E IP address in its binary format, we can identify that it's a class E IP address by examining the leading bits of the IP address. If the IP address begins with 1111, it means it's a class E IP address. Now what is the first octet range for class E? The first octet ranges from 1111 followed by four zeros to one 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 followed by four ones and this is two twenty four plus sixteen two forty and eight ones is two power eight minus one two fifty six minus one two fifty five so the first octet range for class E is two forty to two fifty five thus given an IP address if its first octet is within the range 240 to 255, then we can easily identify that it's a class E IP address.